evening all um tonight i want to talk about the tall poppy syndrome so it's a very aussie thing kiwis there's a few countries around the world that do it there's people everywhere that actually do it but it is it does tend to be an incredibly aussie thing to do where someone gets to a certain level of success or notoriety or wealth and we just want to like Cut them down to our size. And I think we get taught this from a really, really, really young age. We go from those moments where they're small kids and they're so excited for their teammates or their friends to win an award or get up on a podium or to have an acceptance speech or to even have that take that toy that they get to take home that weekend from year one because of their good behavior. And then as we get older and wiser, um, we stop doing that. We stop enjoying other people's success. We want to find fault. We want to go, oh, well, yeah, yeah, but she's only that famous because she got all that money from her father. Or we want to say, oh, yeah, but, you know, auto-tune does wonders for her songs. There's always a something. And I want to encourage us to go through life forgetting the somethings. The more we can be happy for anybody's success at any level, the more other people are going to be happy for our success, number A, and the more success we're actually going to have. You can't be negative and get a positive. It's like a universal impossibility. Sure, you might have a small win or you might have a little ego hit because you've brought someone down a peg or two by gossiping about them or finding or picking on something they've done or making some notation about how they're clearly not that great anyway. Why? Why, 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 why? I don't know why we do it. Um, it's interesting. Um, someone's just jumped on my, hi, Shana. And we were at school together. And when I was at school, I was teased incessantly, not by the young lady watching tonight, I might add, about my singing. I'd go into classrooms and someone would tease me or someone would make a joke because I was doing this. And it was just because I was different. I was doing something that my friends in my class, my comrades, my, my people weren't sharing in. So therefore, I had to like knock out a wedge so I could not even come back to their level because that's not what it's about. It's about you just not, them not seeing you at some perceived higher level. Because the reality is, none of it's, the reality is, ironic that I'm going to use the word, none of it's real. It's not. We're all the same. Whether it's me or Celeste Barber or Oprah or Bono, we're all just people. Sure, we have different talents, we have different gifts, we have different skills, we have different personalities, but we're all just this make, genetic makeup and no good comes of living in a world where we do tall poppy syndrome. You might get a teeny tiny buzz. Your ego might get this little kind of bing because for that moment you feel a little bit better than someone or you feel that mm, you might not feel better than them, but you don't feel that they're as good as they were. That ego boost is gone in like many microseconds. So not worth it. We have whole industries in the world built off the back of tall poppy syndrome. How many magazines do you pick? If you pick up four magazines, I guarantee three of those magazines will be filled with negative things that are meant to knock chinks in people's armor, to make them somehow seem smaller. The reality is the bigger we lift people up, the bigger we are. So I just want you to watch your language, watch how you think about people, Watch what you, when you're picking up a magazine or seeing something on the TV, the news, the, a movie, whatever it is you're doing, and you see someone and you have those seconds where you're like, hmm, yeah, but, you know, well, uh, she wouldn't be that successful if she wasn't married to him. Stop it. Please, please, please stop it. Ask yourself, if you were on a pedestal, what would you want people to be saying about you? Mmm, that's a biggie. And look out for that over the next 
24, 48 hours. Just pay attention, okay? Because they're all just the same. They are all the same as you and me. So try and knock that tall poppy syndrome out of your life and pass it on to everyone around you. Because when you stop doing it, the people around you stop doing it, which is really important for children, okay? Mwah. Have a great night, guys. And remember, we are all the same. There are no tall poppies, okay? None. Poppies are left for Anzac Day. Bye.